Good afternoon. This is <coughs> Dr. Bill White again here, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a, a real nice way to correct a class three case on a, a, a real early case. And I do mean early, like this young man I'm going to show you. We started him before his six year molars were in. Now, when you're doing this, you have to go look at the people that are blood kin to him. If you got some real raunchy class threes in the family, this is, it'll work to correct him when he's young, but he'll grow out of it later on down the line. And it's best if you uh, explain to the parents when you start to do something like this, this can always grow out and uh, you lose this work. But you need to start these kids a lot of times, and this is one of the neatest ways I've ever uh, seen to correct early class threes. And we went in and put a palatal separator on this young man. Well, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you that in a minute. But it's on his deciduous teeth. He had no permanent teeth at that time. <clears throat> and we use a reverse headgear and we're pulling the maxilla forward to correct the class three and it's an efficient way to do that and I want to go in and show that to you. Uh, you. We use it a lot in pediatric dentists should be using this uh, early. You can correct it if it stays corrected. Uh, that's wonderful. Here is the little boy. Just a neat neat kid and uh let's see looking from the front you wouldn't suspect he has a class three problem but then when he opens his mouth and everything you can see he definitely <coughs> has a class three with a mild uh cross bite you know and now his deciduous teeth are ground off he's apparently uh bruxes his teeth he's worn his deciduous teeth uh, down uh, an awful lot but let's go ahead and look at this and so we come in and take this case and put a palatal separator in and that's what we pull off of it it holds the teeth together up there and we use it on the deciduous uh, first and second molars and then hook the reverse headgear to the palatal separator and pull this forward. And you can get a kid to wear this early on, and we've, I've corrected a lot of them like this. Uh, it'll pull this maxilla right on over the mandible, but sometimes you have to put a block in there or something to uh, jump the bite like we... I think we padded a little block on one side. We could do it on both sides uh, and get it over and then take the block off if you uh, need to. Uh, okay, here is the upper arch before we got the six-year molars in. Now, when I put this palatal separator in, like uh, this is a the deciduous cuspid. Here's the first deciduous molar, and here's the second deciduous molar. And we're going to attach this palatal separator. We'll put the deal somewhere in here, and it has a jack screw, and we'll open it, and it has bands on these teeth. I'm not, I don't think I banded the cuspid. Uh, but anyway, we banded those and put legs out here to separate that and we put a special hook on the side of this which we hook the uh, reverse headgear to that. Now let's see this is a lower arch looks like he's got a couple of cavities in the deciduous tooth and there's no six year molars in there on the kid. Alright we did put looks like a little bit of a block there and this one over here to jump this so we could bring the maxilla 
of the maxillary anterior teeth over the lower teeth, which worked fine, and the kid wore it. And this is the hook we've got back here for bringing this out, and I'll show you there's a trick to putting these elastics in on this thing. All right, this is coming across here now. We've got him jumped over, and uh, that's the block on one side. Seems like we had something over here. Now he's getting a six-year motor here. And he's getting one back over on this other side here. Now this is the palatal separator that we had in there. And the six-year motor is forming, is coming through there, is cutting it. And uh, we've got hooks back here. And we put pressure on this and we open it up and widen this out. And now we're bringing it forward and we're going to pull kind of at an angle like that on this. And it'll bring that maxilla right on over. And on a young kid like that, see, we've opened this out so much and we've tied it off right there. Uh, now, here is the uh, reverse headgear. Now, the secret, one of the things you must do, have the rubber band going back to your palatal separator but it crosses right where the lips open and close right there. Otherwise, if it holds the lip down here, they'll drain out and they'll chap and everything else. And so go through where the lips are together. It might need to be raised just a little. You loosen this screw, slide this thing up, and it catches the rubber band right here. And you can regulate exactly where you are pulling there when this is on the chin. And then you've got these art, these wires that go back. And then it goes up and comes across the forehead. And that's all that holds the thing in. In other words, the two elastics hold this in the mouth. But it puts a reverse pull on the maxilla but it puts a negative pull on the chin. So you have to be careful if somebody's got weak joints or something like that. Uh, you have to be careful not to put much pressure on that. And sometimes we just have people wear something like this in the daytime, but at night when they relax, uh, their jaw can't take it, but they can take it during the daytime. All right, here this rubber band is going right back to this second deciduous molar here. And when the lips are closed, they close right here on this rubber band. Let me go back and uh, kind of show that. So that's something that you really need to know. The rubber band needs to go right through where your lips part and then he goes up and hooks to that whatever and uh, this is uh, something you need to learn to do if you put your rubber band too high or too low you've got a kind of a place in the lip that leaks and saliva comes out and just stays on there and it chaps and gets in a mess so you go through there where it works all right, here we go. This is 1998, and uh, he's just now getting his teeth in. Now, you have warned the parents that if he gets older and is a young man, you know, he can grow out from under this, and you'd have to come back and redo it, and that's a, that's a gamble that they take, not you. If you... Uh, give it to them to start with, see. Uh, don't wait till it happens and then tell them about it because they'll blame you for it. Uh, tell them to start with. Now we're going to go in. Maybe this will stay over on the right side 
and as his permanent teeth come in, they'll be on the right side, and it'll be there. So this is something good to do when a child is very young. And the pediatric dentists don't send them out to have this done, or not very many do. Now, if they've got an orthodontist in the uh, practice, uh, they can do it. But pediatric dentists should learn how to do this. If they're out uh, by themselves, I mean, in any place like that, they should know how to do this. You can get the class three corrected, and the kid may grow up with it and stay with it. If he grows out of it, okay. He was he he's gotten all this young development though is proper, and if he grows out of it, you have to deal with it at a later date. But tell the parents about this. This young man looks like he ground ground his decision's teeth off a lot. All right, here we go again. All right, this is the reverse headgear. And uh, this just has a strap, goes across the forehead. And these this can be regulated up or down on this wire. And it comes down and it comes around and it's his chin. And your rubber bands are coming right through. You see there's no separation of his lip. I'll erase that line so that you can see there there's no there's no separation. See the lip going right straight across here. And uh, that's the way it needs to be. Now if you put too much pressure uh, the chin will break out. So you can just put a certain amount of pressure and there's more pressure here than there is up here. This is further away, and there'll be a stronger pressure down here on the chin. So sometimes we put a Kleenex or something in there to kind of pat it or to absorb the sweat or something. It helps. Uh, and this, these rods go right up beside the face, and you can make sure there's it's not going to hang on something. You can turn them in if you want to. I guess if you got them up there exactly where you want you could cut them off but uh, they make them longer so that you can change this strap up higher if you want to all right <clears throat> this is a handy deal and i've used it a lot now when you're pulling and you're pulling like this it kind of pulls these teeth down and you like to have them chew on that and hold that in position. And you see this has got the teeth coming over the hump. Good. But this this works. And little kids seem to wear them better than older kids. And we're going to get that over the hump and get those teeth on the right side. And then we'll take him out of this. Uh, and that's... The separators expanded out. We expanded these molars out. It's about that uh, when we first submitted that in, they'll be together here about like something like that. So we've done about that much separation in there too. All right. Here we've uh, pulled this thing off and it's over on the right side so we uh, down here pretty close we take it off and we put a retainer in there now we've got it off and his uh, six year molars have come in now and this is the two molars deciduous molars that we had this on uh, these teeth right here and this is permanent and permanent tooth right there. So we started this young man quite early, and now it's 98, uh, 1998, and uh, this is 11, uh, 24, and uh, this is finishing up, and here he is 
This is when we started in 97, and he was six years and six months old, and his six-year motors haven't come in yet. And you can see that on him there. Now, on the bottom now, the, the six-year motors have made it through, and this is lined up pretty good. Got a little space down there, but we're going to stop and let him wear this until all the deciduous teeth are just about all of them are out, and we'll come back with a second phase of orthodontics. But you let this young man grow up with his jaws in the right place, and that's important, rather than leave him like this till he's 12 or 14, He's going to have a jaw that's off to one side or tending to protrude out more than it normally will. It goes back in there, so it kind of grows along with the rest of it. So we put that retainer, and we watch that. And uh, when these teeth all go, when these deciduous teeth go, we'll come in and start a second phase of treatment on this young man. Now here he is at 92, and he's seven and two months old. And you see that pulling that thing across at an angle like that, it has lowered this down. So you need to bite, keep biting on that thing to work it properly there. So it's uh, eight of 98, and I think we show him here in 2000. This is uh, 99, and he's 7 and 11 months, so he's nearly 8 years old at this point. And here he is, and this is 2000. And uh, his teeth are, look good, and his maxilla will have matured and grows out and stays out in a normal position which it wouldn't have if you left it in this class three form. So he's wearing a retainer in 2000, and these, these permanent teeth make it in, or the, nearly all of them will come in and finish this case. But make sure that you told them that it can grow out from under you, and you have that problem. But it's better to take that gamble and go ahead and correct that first it helps the thing grow more normal and there it is and this I think is about the end of this video but we've used this thing an awful lot uh, to correct early class 3 problems we use this reverse headgear like that and uh, that's worked out good. And that's the end of our uh, video. I uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you will, we appreciate you joining our group and subscribe to our channel. And uh, we would appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I hope this is useful to you. And I hope pediatric dentists are doing this. Thank you and goodbye, and let me close this up.